why <clears throat> why the Western countries want to play hardball with Turkish President Recep Tayyip or Erdogan, or should European countries, should Western ally, ally uh, play hardball with Turkish President Erdogan? As you know, it is a long time there is a conflict, there is a standoff between Turkey and it is European allies and NATO allies. First of all, I would like to explain the meaning of this word, to play hardball. hardball. To play hardball uh, does mean that uh, any country or any person uses all possible means to achieve his or it is goal. It doesn't matter to act rough or ruthless. And it can be happened uh, the, the, to play hardball. It can be happened. It can be realized in politics and business. And what does it mean? I would like to explain as possible as I can. As you know, there is a standoff between Turkey and uh, European countries and the NATO allies. And uh, European countries, uh, especially NATO and the uh, Atlantic, uh, led by the United States of America, uh, they claim that the Turkey betrays European values and democratic principles and uh, Turkey has got relations with Russia and as you know European countries the Western countries are in at war with the Russian Federation in Ukraine but Turkey the member of the in, of NATO North Atlantic Treaty Organization has relations with Russian Federation and personally and, and personally, uh, President Erdogan uh, has relations, has connections with his uh, Russian counterpart, uh, Vladimir Putin. And uh, it irritates Western countries, it, it irritates NATO members. Uh, on the other hand, as you know, Turkey is, is, uh, now is blocking the entry, the, jo the, the Sweden's and Finland's uh, joining, uh, to, uh, joining NATO and Turkey has conditions. First of all, Turkey demands the political and the Kurdish refugees and other uh, political and uh, the, uh, the members of Gulen's uh, religious movement. Uh, uh, they are living in Sweden uh, and, and in other European countries. And Turkey, uh, especially the former editor-in-chief of Zaman newspaper, belonging to Gulenist movement uh, in Turkey, it is uh, recognized as a terror organization, FETO. Turkey demands this, this man, this terror sus uh, suspects should be, not should be, must be extradited to Turkey. And it is very vital for Turkish side but Sweden uh, doesn't want to give this, uh, this some important Gulenist and uh, and uh, PKK and the Kurdish uh, Workers Party. It is also recognized as a terror organization. PKK is a terror organization recognized by Western countries in Europe, by Europe and the United States of America. And the, the reality is that Turk, uh, Erdogan is leading in Turkey uh, since two, 20, 2002. Uh, it is older than two decades. Turkey is uh, is led by President Erdogan and by his governments. But uh, as you know, uh, uh, after uh, 2014, after 2015, Turkey and the Erdogan government has problems with Western countries, with NATO members. Uh, NATO members, Turkey uh, sa uh, says it conducts impartial policy in the Middle East impartial policy in the Middle East. But as you know, in the northern part of uh, Syria, United States of America supports Kurdish rebels. Uh, it's with the rebels, this organization YPG, is recognized by Turkey as a terror organization. And Turkey has relations with uh, with, uh, with the uh, Russian Federation. As you know, after the beginning of the war in Ukraine, Turkey has grown nearly 200% of this economic growth with, you know, uh, with the Russian Federation. And I, uh, Western countries say that Turkey must join the section against Russia, but Turkey doesn't want. Turkey, uh, under the leadership of President Erdogan, said they are leading impartial politics and they are mediator between Russia and Ukraine. That's why there is a there are um, standoffs, there are um, some um, uh, predicaments and problems between Turkey and it is NATO allies and Western countries. But in Turkey will be held, as you know, on the uh, 14 May. The presidential and parliamentary elections. Erdogan
Erdogan party and it is allies with Turkish nationalists, they want to win majority in the Turkish parliament and Erdogan uh, wants to be re-elected uh, the second time Turkish president. As, uh, and there is the opposition. Opposition uses uh, also the high inflation and economic problem, problems as possible as they can. But we don't know what's, what happens in Turkey. But I think that after elections, the relations between Western countries and uh, between Western countries and Turkey will be harsh because Turkey has got harsh, and Erdogan has also authoritarian and uh, politics uh, in Turkey, also abroad in the uh, in Europe and other countries. I think that after the elections in Turkey, the relations will be uh, will be uh, will not be uh, easy and. Uh, we are waiting what will be happen and i think that uh, it will be i hope that it will be very good for western countries and for for uh, also for uh, turkish uh, allies uh, because how long the war can is uh, in in ukraine is continuing in ukraine I think that the standoff between uh, Turkey and uh, European countries will be harsh, will be difficult, because uh, after the World War, we we see uh, it comes new world or world order, new world order in the world, and uh, Turkish position in the new uh, world order is uh, important enough. And I don't know, as a political scientist, I don't know, but I am. Uh, I think that uh, the relations, the economic and political relations between Turkey and European countries will be okay and will be better after the presidential election, after the war uh, between uh, Russia and Ukraine.